if you had Wonder Woman's lasso of truth <laughs> and could use it on one person, who would that be? Vladimir Putin. You know, what I'd really like to know, what I'd really like to know about Putin, I think, above all else, it's kind of an obscure thing in some sense. There's been an, when Solzhenitsyn wrote the Gulag Archipelago, what he was hoping for was that the Russians would return to their Orthodox Christian tradition and develop their political system organically as a consequence. And what's happened since the fall of the Soviet Union is that Orthodox Christianity has been undergoing a revival in Russia, for better or worse, but certainly a revival. So that part of Solzhenitsyn's wish has come true. Now Putin seems to support that revival and has made gestures in the direction of affiliation with Orthodox Christianity. And I'd like to find out if he does believe that there is a power that he's subordinate to, because that would be a real relief. You know, so, well, one of the things that I learned about from studying religious structures from a scientific perspective, let's say, a psychological perspective, was that even thousands of years ago, in, among the Mesopotamians, for example, there was an idea that the ruler, the emperor, who was pretty much an absolute despot in some sense, was nonetheless responsible either directly to a higher power or was a manifestation of that higher power on earth and had certain ethical obligations as a consequence. And so, so see, one of the things that our religious imagination has done over the course of millennia is abstract out the idea of sovereignty as something in and of itself and then to make everyone subordinate to that abstract notion, including absolute rulers. And that's a really big deal because you don't want your ruler to be the highest thing there is. And you certainly don't want him or her to think that way. You want them to be secondary to some other conception of absolute ethical sovereignty. And I'd really like to find out if Putin's rapprochement with Orthodox Christianity is a facade and part of a power game that he's playing. You know, he's using the church cynically as a means to bolster his popularity, or whether there is a least a tiny little corner of him that thinks that he might be playing a part in some broader ethical game. So 